we will talk first of all about the first planet. Now the first planet is Mercury, the first planet is Mercury. Now what is about Mercury? First of all you know in Hindi Mercury is known as Buddh. So this is Buddh. All these Buddh, Shukra, Shani, all these planets plays a very uh, important role uh, in the astronomy, in the field of astrology. So for astrologers all these are very very important Shukra, Shani, Buddha, Ravi and all this thing. So coming back to point Mercury is the first planet, it is the nearest planet to the earth, it is uh, sorry it is the nearest planet to the sun, nearest to the sun. Now it is very nearest like it is the nearest one the first planet from the sun, definitely it is hot but it is not the hottest one, but it is hot. So the hot planet, I am writing in very short and I am writing just the keywords. So it is very hot and the temperature rises you know it goes from uh, 450 degrees Celsius just imagine we are uh, you know we face so we, we uh, for us even the 45 degree or 45, 48 degrees Celsius is uh, so difficult you know in 48 also it is difficult to survive. Just imagine the temperature 450 degrees Celsius and this one is a on the highest point and when we talk about the lower one so it goes to minus 170 degree Celsius. There are many reasons uh, for what the life do not exist in any of the planet except the earth. So all these are the reasons you know the it is very near is to the like it is very near to the sun. Obviously the temperature will be very high and temperature the maximum goes to 450 and the minimum is 170 just see the difference. First of all the high and low ranges are very uh, you know uh, unexpected and the difference is also very high and there is no atmosphere, there is no atmosphere that means no life and actually no moon also it does not have moon. Moon means what? The natural satellite is known as moon, earth has got one moon, earth has got one natural satellite and when we talk about mercury, mercury is uh, nearest to the sun the maximum goes to temperature goes to 450 degrees Celsius and the minimum comes to minus 170 degrees Celsius. It is a hot planet but again note this very properly it is not the hottest one. It does not has any moon that means natural satellite is not there. Now uh, if we talk about the surface, if we talk about the surface of the uh, mercury uh, you know many craters are there many mountains are there many uh, no, the it has got all kind of surface which even we have. So craters are there even mountains are there. So craters and mountains both are present. Now you know as I said that the first five planets are visible from the surface of the earth. So is it visible? Of course this one is also visible and it can be spotted near the horizon actually can be spotted near the horizon. You know uh, like uh, when it can be seen so before, before sunrise or sunset. 
so that's all about the budh budh is what it's mercury it is the first planet it is nearest one to the sun it's very hot the temperature varies and at upper side also it goes very high and the lower side also it comes very low comes to very low now the surface has got like it has got mountains also and the craters also and it can be seen before the sunrise and before the sunset so this is about the mercury this is the first planet now we'll talk about the second planet so now after discussing mercury we'll talk about the next planet and that is venus so now we'll be talking about venus now venus is known as shukr in hindi it is known as shuk in hindi now this venus has got many special characteristics you know uh like this one is the second planet from the sun but it is the nearest planet to the earth it is also hottest planet and one of the brightest uh just we'll see now how so first of all it is nearest to the earth venus is nearest to the earth and if we talk about from sun then it is second planet it is second from the sun from the sun it is the second planet you know this planet is also known as twin planet or we can if we talk about the earth and venus together we can say these are twin twin planets why because the size of both the planets the earth and the venus is almost same so is known as twin planet to earth i am not writing complete sentences i am just writing the important words and even this will make easy uh, for you people also just you can uh, by reading these small keywords only you can remember the things in detail so this one is also known as twin planet uh, because of the same size why it is known as so almost same size almost same size now this one is the hottest planet why so actually the nearest one to the sun is mercury then why this one is the hottest why this one is hottest so it is hottest children because of two reasons first of all the surface of the venus is covered by the dense clouds of carbon dioxide dense clouds of carbon dioxide that means the whole surface of this planet is covered by carbon dioxide now we all know nicely that uh, special uh, feature of carbon dioxide is that it traps the sun's heat it doesn't allow the sun's heat to reflect back it holds it traps so carbon dioxide traps the sun's heat traps the sun's heat which increases the temperature of the venus which increases the temperature of the venus this is the first reason and the second reason is children that it has got lots of volcanoes also now lots of volcanoes are there and uh, these are active volcanoes due to these active volcanoes also the temperature of the venus is very very high and third everybody knows that it is not the closest one nearest one but still is very very close to sun so these points make it uh, very clear that why venus is very hot planet or why it is hottest planet okay now uh, it also has got lots of uh, you know uh, like we can say that uh, the sulfuric acid is also there the sulfuric acid is also present at the surface of the venus which again 
uh, adds in all this now again it has got no oxygen so no uh, life no water here also i can write uh, where it have written no atmosphere no life no water so same will come over here no water no atmosphere no life and even no moon children even this venus does not has a natural satellite natural satellite is not there okay now this one is also known as the brightest star even though like uh, or i can say uh, this one venus is not in star not a star it is a planet but still we say that it is the brightest star it is the brightest star now children you know why it is brightest because of the dense fumes uh, dense gases clouds around it what is happening all these sun's light is, uh, is reflected and we know then it will uh, look bright because the light is getting reflected from there so this is the reason that why it is so bright because the uh, dense gases reflects the sun's light so it is very bright now when we talk about more specific or special feature we know that earth rotates from west to east but you know this rotates from it rotates from east to west east it rotates from east to west again making it a very you know uh, this one is a special feature that it rotates from east to west now again it has got longest longest day also it has got longest day now wait why it has got longest day because it takes 243 days almost uh, it takes 243 days takes 243 days mm -hmm. days to complete one rotation it takes 243 days to complete one rotation correct so it uh, shows many special features first of all it is nearest to the earth it is second planet from the sun it is the hottest one because has got lots of carbon dioxide which traps the sun's light and again the temperature increases it has got lots of volcanoes also it is the brightest one also why because the uh, a lot of dense cloud is there which reflects the light then the rotation from east to west again a new feature yeah no doubt no water no atmosphere no life no moon all these are the common one as uh, mercury has now along with this what else is left now it has got longest day which is 243 days and in these 243 days it completes one day just imagine one day of 243 days okay now it is known as twin planet as the size of the earth and the venus are almost same actually venus uh, can also be uh, seen you know uh, and that is a reason uh, it is known as the brightest star it can be seen from the surface of the earth also and uh, this is all about the special like all the special features of the uh, venus and just now we have discussed two planets mercury and venus and uh, now we'll be talking about the main important planet that is earth now 
about earth i think we all know first of all earth is the only planet which has got life so it has life it has got atmosphere it ha it has got water and so life is there apart from apart from this there are many features which makes it so important <coughs> now <coughs> life is there but for life to be there there are other certain other reason also like the distance from the sun is very appropriate distance <coughs> from sun is appropriate means what it is neither very close nor very far now atmosphere is there that means it has got what it has oxygen it has got uh, carbon dioxide now many gases are there nitrogen like many 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 gases are there but this carbon dioxide plays very important role why carbon dioxide plays very important role children it's not only about the photosynthesis okay oxygen respiration we know so in the same way carbon dioxide we know for photosynthesis but apart from this we also know just now we have discussed that carbon dioxide is the gas which has got capability uh, to trap the sun's heat when the sun's heat is trapped by the carbon dioxide the temperature of the earth increases see it is very dangerous because carbon dioxide is increasing day by day because of lots of reasons again maybe pollution maybe vehicles many reasons are there but when carbon dioxide is increasing so more carbon dioxide more heat will be there so the global warming will be there that is all true but due to the presence of carbon dioxide children the difference between the uh, day and night is not so vast we all can survive over here just see the difference between the temperature of the mercury 450 degrees celsius and minus 170 degrees celsius maybe in day 450 degrees celsius and in day time uh, in uh, uh, day 450 and at night minus 170 degrees celsius the difference in the temperature cannot allow uh, life to be there why so because at day time sun is there sun's heat is there but at night when sun is not there then how we will be able to survive then the heat is coming from where because of carbon dioxide what is happening this and many other gases definitely these gases has got the tendency to trap the sun sea and thus does the atmosphere remains warm and we all can survive even in the absence of the uh, sun only i'm talking about night okay so in the absence of uh, sun also we all can survive at night because the temperature doesn't uh, goes very low so co2 is responsible for photosynthesis but also it maintains temperature it maintains difference between day and night temperature as it traps the sun's heat now again ozone is also there now when we talk about ozone we all know we have discussed this in many our times that it plays very important role as it plays it we can say it acts as an umbrella for earth it acts as an umbrella for earth how can we say this uh, ozone acts like umbrella for earth because it do not allow the harmful ultraviolet uv rays okay ultraviolet rays are 
reflected back are reflected back that means it do not allow the harmful rays of sun to enter in the surface of the earth now we all know that ozone layer has got a big hole but which keeps on decreasing and increasing that is again many reasons are there we will not go into that but so ozone is also there which protects the surface of the earth from the uh, harmful radiations of the uh, sun now apart from this rotation and revolution is also we all know rotation is a now i won't discuss the definition also and it takes 24 hours and i the again the revolution so revolution it takes 365 one four days now due to revolution change in season happens season changes and due to rotation day and night occur day and night occur. It has got one moon that means one natural satellite is present which moves around with that that also rotates and revolves. Moon also rotates and revolves around the earth. It does not rotate around the sun and so it is not the planet it is the satellite. So uh, what next? Now earth is also known as blue planet earth is also known as blue planet why channel it is known as blue planet because uh, due to the presence of the uh, the the land mass and the water the sunlight get reflected and it gives a you know appearance of what blue color so it is also known as blue planet because the uh, sun's light get reflected from the surface of the water so it is known as uh, blue planet. Why? Because sun's light get reflected from the surface of the water. So, along with this, one very important part is that has got gravity, gravitational force. Now, this gravitational force is so important that due to the pro, uh, uh, this, uh, uh, <laughs> due to the presence of gravitational force only. Oceans are there on the surface of the earth, rivers are there, we all can stand, soil is there, rock is there, like everything is there at their proper position. Every planet has to be, uh, has to have gravitational force, isn't it? And due to gravitational force only the life can exist. So, uh, why I say this sentence that every planet has got gravitational force, this we will discuss while discussing that how the bodies are divided how can we say that yeah this will come under the category of planet or this will come under the category of dwarf planet or moon or whatsoever and that we will be discussing. So due to earth's gravitational force the uh, oceans the rivers and everything we everything is there on the surface of the earth and not flying away somewhere. So gravitational force is also very very important for existence. So, it is not only about that water is there and so we are alive, that only atmosphere is that we are alive. There are many all these things in combination helps us to survive on the surface of the earth. So, we just just out earth, earth is the planet where we live, live and uh, it has got many special uh, features and it rotates from where? It rotates from I have written or not written, it rotates from west to east. So, it rotates from west to east, rotation and revolution I will not define now, rotation gets completed in 24 hours which give rise to day and night, revolution gets completed in 365 days, one, 365 and 1 4 days which uh, gives us different season. It looks blue because the sun's light get reflected from the uh, surface of the water. It has got atmosphere, life, 
distance from the sun is very appropriate it's not very uh, distance is not very high or very less due to the presence of the various gases like oxygen carbon dioxide nitrogen we all are able to survive the plants and animals are able to survive on the surface of the earth now uh, we know that oxygen is required for respiration carbon dioxide for photosynthesis but at the same time photosynthesis is important but carbon dioxide the main thing what it is doing is it traps the sun's heat when the sun's heat is trapped the temperature get increased and so the difference between the temperature of earth uh, in the day and at night it remains variable so all these points are there which makes it a lovely planet and uh, we all know that we are there on the surface of the earth and we need to protect earth we need to save earth okay so now we will be discussing the next planet please note this